Another major storm bringing big rain and big wind to the west. What's going on, guys? Certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegg is back with you. Stick around to the end of the video. I have a huge update on the temperatures for Christmas week. Do me a favor, post in the comments what the weather is doing, where you are tuning in from. A lot of snow this weekend. Love to see your snowfall reports or, in some cases, sunshine reports if you were across parts of the south. Here it is right here. More rain coming to the Pacific Northwest. Obviously not the best news. We have major flooding that's been going on. We need to get that to stop. But this is also going to go into a pretty big wind event going forward over the next couple of days. We're going to detail that uh, coming up in the next couple of minutes. Here is the upper level storm track. So the overall setup as we get into Tuesday into Wednesday, you see some high elevation snow in parts of southern Canada, the northern United States. A lot of this is going to be rain into Boise, into parts of Oregon, Washington, especially in the lower elevations. You see there, though, with the ridge and the jet stream, still pretty warm for this time of the year in the west. That snow is going to be held to some of the higher elevations. Now, a lot of colors on this map, but we're talking big time wind event coming across really west of the Mississippi. This is going to be through the middle and latter par portion of this week. That kind of teal color, that's going to be your wind advisory, but we have high wind warnings in effect. So we're talking about potential for some hurricane force wind gusts, uh, places like Montana. Eventually, as we get into the Dakotas, maybe into Minnesota as well, some of those 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts where we have this kind of gold color that's where we have a high wind watch so this is going to go into play wednesday and thursday and that means that conditions are close to and then once we get closer to the event this is going to be either upgraded to an advisory or a warning and that's going to be through a lot of idaho eastern montana parts of colorado and then into wyoming washington and oregon as well so there are the uh, wind alerts in play here now these are going to be the wind gusts these are the model forecasts here for the gusts so we're going to pause this early on this is going to be for the rest of monday into tuesday in heart butte getting into that 50 mile per hour wind gust so that's going to be higher elevations early on but then watch what happens as we get into Tuesday and then especially Wednesday into Thursday, this next system comes screaming in and that puts wind gusts anywhere from 40 to 50 miles an hour, Glasgow, Montana, down through Miles City into parts of North and South Dakota. You see Rapid City has gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour and then it kind of pushes further in toward Minnesota, eventually Iowa and Wisconsin. So big time widespread wind event, again, not thunderstorm related, obviously it's winter, but could see some power outages as a result of anywhere from 50 to 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts going forward in terms of the overall weather pattern this is for tuesday mentioned earlier in the video that in the west we have these above normal temperatures i think east of the mississippi we're going to start to moderate the temperatures after our big blast of arctic cold over the next couple of days still though right along the i-95 corridor we're hanging on to kind of the last gasp of this brutal Arctic cold that gripped a lot of the northern tier of the country for the weekend and parts of the deep south. I mean, it was in the 20s in Pensacola uh, this morning on Monday, December 15th. But all that orange, again, represents where we're going to have normal, uh, warmer than normal temperatures. This is what we're waking up to December 16th on Tuesday. Still frigid in Pittsburgh and Detroit. Teens in Syracuse, single digits, International Falls, but we're at least on the right side of zero. And again, there's all the warmth surging, relatively speaking, of course, for this time of the year, well above normal temperatures in the Rockies and into parts of the High Plains. Temperatures uh, tomorrow afternoon, December 16th, again, starting to warm up a little bit, at least getting close to the freezing mark in Pittsburgh, above freezing in Chicago, 30 in Detroit, 44 in Roanoke. It's still very nice in Brownsville, Houston. In Orlando, warming back up into the upper 60s and lower 70s. All right, before we get to the Christmas portion of this, and it's a big update, just want to bring your attention to some of the tiers that we now have in terms of joining this team. If you click the join section, you will see what each one of these tiers represent. No obligation, of course. We're still going to be here free and all that jazz, but there's some extra perks that you can get if you join the team. So I'll leave you to look at that. Again, no obligation, just some fun stuff coming your way in 20. 2026 as uh, we continue to expand what we offer here on this channel of course what you see here is always going to be free but that's some additional things if you're interested in that and again that's all going to be on the join section on the home page of just weather i will have links in there to discuss it this uh has been a lot of controversy uh between some youtubers social media uh, not meteorologists um just kind of 
bashing people for showing this map. Now, mind you, this is the official outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. But it's been kind of wild because there's been a lot of uh, the hypesters just harping on brutal cold in the South for Christmas. But we've been talking a lot on this channel that it was likely going to be warm relative to normal across a giant chunk of the country. What you're looking at here is the outlook. Now, this doesn't mean the darker the red, the higher, the more above normal this is. This is kind of a confidence meter. And where you see that darker red and the rust color, that is where it is likely to be well above normal. At least the confidence is super high. The only spot that I'm seeing here where it's going to be average or below average is going to be in the Northeast and then right across the northern tier of the country as uh, the atmosphere kind of reloads, maybe for another blast of cold as we get ready to close out 2025. But by and large, it continues to look as if it is going to be very, very warm across a big chunk of the country. And you see that orange there. Again, I think on Thursday, December 25th, on Christmas Day, you're talking about temperatures, again, pushing 80 degrees in uh, Orlando, Houston, 70 in San Antonio. Some of the numbers look wrong here. I think we're going to be in the 60s. It could make a run for the 60s in St. Louis and into Oklahoma City. So again, big time, big time warm up across the country. It looks like, especially maybe as far north as St. Louis, Omaha, really uh, warm temperatures relative to normal. All righty, guys. If you're still with me, I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. Please post in the comments uh, where you're tuning in from, uh, what you thought of the video. If you have any suggestions, of course, I'm open to all feedback. Post that in the comments, and we'll catch you next time.